Guys, 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 guys. I got something to share with you all. <laughs> this is such an awkward ankle. Look at the an ankle, an awkward ankle or an ankle, guys. Welcome back. Welcome back to our Mega Butter Survival. Behind this wooden wall in front of us, I have a secret. I have a, no, it's not really a secret. I got something to share with you. I got an unveiling. I've been a busy little Miola the past few days setting something up. I'm really, really excited to share this with you. Uh, but behind this wall, uh, remains this uh, uh, remains sits uh appears um, what's the word i'm looking for behind this wall regardless is the thing i'm going to show you how many more times do i have to say it how many more words do i need to phrase it guys before we get too far into it if you do enjoy the video please go ahead and punch that thumbs up make it rain those thumbs up guys in case you haven't got the memo yet i've been building my base now it's not completed yet but i've made a ton of progress so much so that i'm doing a little like mid build reveal just to show you where it's currently sitting because I am like, this might be 10 out of 10 top tier Miola build. Uh, yeah, you know what? This is one of my best. This is one of my best. I'm going to go out and say it, but it's work in progress. Okay, so keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. But uh, hey, guys, drum roll, please. Oh, I just unveiled a little bit of it. Play your drums. Drum roll it. Let's go. Ooh. All right, hold on, hold on. Hold on. You can only, you can only get a little, see a little bit of it. Ooh, a little sneak peeks up there. Have a look at that. Let's go and like creep our way through the back door because this is of course our main house this is just our little farmhouse out the back <laughs> Ta -da! i know okay it doesn't look like much it's just a massive pile of cobblestone but once we enter the majestic dino gateway ooh, it opens up a little bit now doesn't it this isn't what it looked like when we left off last time is it no 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 so um as we head on forward this is going to be the main kind of area of the base where i'm going to have a lot of my crafting stuff and just machinery and that sort of stuff uh but to my right is where i spent way too much time yesterday on this staircase yeah i thought we'd get for like a little bit of a multi-level build with this one here and all in all i think it's coming up pretty darn good so we're going to send a double staircase up to i guess what is currently a bedroom i don't know if it's going to remain that way but we've got this nice old little balcony here we've got the nice sound of a trickling waterfall that is ridiculously loud and is blowing my eardrums out but we'll ignore it we've got two little mannequin stations over here as well so we can go and like I don't know. Yeah, you can do that if that's what you want to do. But now I've lost all my items, so I don't want to do that. I want my items back. No, I want my items back. I want my items back, clown man. Do I have a clown face on? No, I do not. we got a little beds over here because I didn't know where else to put them. Um, but yeah, I think what I'm most excited about is I really built in some like architectural kind of elements. Obviously, this room's not finished either. Like, look at our flying poop over there. Do you ever notice this? I don't know if it's just my Dota Curuses or what, but... They do a poop, and then I don't know if it's the tail, and it just whips it straight up into the sky. And then it just stays there for... Anyways, um, just an observation. But yeah, have a look at my little dinosaur gateways. I was playing around with sloped roofs and ramps and triangular things and stuff, and uh, came up with this design, and I really like it. Uh, it's really, really cool. I think it looks awesome, as a matter of fact. Kind of just adds a little bit more to it and then we got the same going up this side so i went and demolished what we had over here originally and uh, this one here i don't know what i'm gonna do don't know if i'm gonna enclose it or do something else with it and then as it currently stands it kind of like loops around i don't know if it'll wrap all the way around or not but yeah this is where we're currently at and i'm freaking so pumped to share this with you guys i'm really really happy with how this is turning out uh if you guys are too let me know let me know what you guys think of the base so far down below in the comments um because I'm, I'm yeah i'm interested in seeing if you like what you're seeing so far anyways at the end of last video we got ourselves uh, this bad boy over here in fact you're, you you are a boy i'm pretty sure because all our fey woods just turn out being boys um our ankle here now this ankle is going to be a majestic it's going to be a beautiful little metal harvester for us unfortunately it's not a crazy high level but it's good enough it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty good for our metal production uh reasons uh, and the reason we do want a ton of metal right now is because i got all these blueprints that need crafting we need to upgrade some of our tools now we've got some good stuff don't get me wrong we got like this that's pretty good we got this that's also pretty good i think i've actually got a better pike not pike uh pickaxe somewhere i just don't know where it is but but look at some of this stuff um actually 
What have we got? Actually, yeah, we got this one here. But we could go better. We could go better. We just need like 3,000 metal to do it. Um, there's also a bunch of stuff here that we can grind up and break down and do all sorts of stuff with. Um, but yeah, basically, we need metal so we can craft a lot of this up. Not to mention compound bows. Not to mention regular sniper rifles for damage or, you know, uh, long neck rifles. Uh, and that's only just like the start of it. Then you got all this armor up here as well, like your alpha armors and your apex armors, which I might actually craft some up today because we could probably do with that. Like this one here, 1,000 metal for a, for a helmet. And that's only one piece of, what, five pieces of armor that you got to... Yeah, basically, we need we need a lot of metal. So I'm thinking we could... Uh, we're going we're gonna to kind of work on that right now, as a matter of fact. Um, I'm just trying to work out exactly how much metal we've got. Uh, it was also brought... We got 2,000 in here. That's pretty good. But it was brought to my attention... <laughs> That the reason we're not having a whole lot of luck with our hatchet when it comes to like hide collection and all that sort of stuff, we've still got a primitive hatchet, guys. So either I gotta go find myself a nice um, hatchet blueprint, or we gotta go and upgrade this thing. And I kind of I'm preferring the idea of a blueprint. But yeah, I guess we'll just play that one like one step at a time. For now, though, I'm going to go and get a saddle for my Ankylo. I want to go and get ourselves some uh, some metal. we got to go and get ourselves some metal. And if we find anything cool to tame on the way, of course, we're going to go ahead and do it. Uh, in fact, we went and crafted up a bunch of gunpowder just the other day. So we might be able to get ourselves some more Trank uh, bullets. We can indeed. Um, now, which what can I turn these into? Blue ones? We'll get some blueies. I don't think I've got any alpha. How do the alpha ones work again? Hold on a second. We should really start crafting up some of this good stuff. Because I've got... Wait, why aren't I doing this? Or well, this one? Primal. No, I haven't killed any primals yet. All right. We'll go and craft up some of these. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't do this like forever ago. But better late than never, I suppose. There we go. 17 of those. And now, once I go and load up these bullets... Uh, we got 11, so we can get 11 of these. Fantastic. That's what I'm talking about. We should have done, we should, should have done that so long ago. In fact, you know what? I'm going to do it right this second. I'm going to go and salvage these. And we're going to go and take all of these again. And we're going to turn these five into better stuff. That way, well, I don't know, it gives us a... Yeah, we, we do more torpor. Just in case we do find something we want to tame up. Okay, cool. So, we've got everything that we need. Inkalo, my dude. Uh, what are you actually capable of for a start? Are you fast? Not really. How am I going to get you to a good source of metal? Do I have any dinosaurs that can pick you up? Let's find out. We obviously tamed up this guy here uh, not too long ago. Our fabled Pteranodon. And it can pick you up. Okay, I didn't expect that. Um, I don't think... Well, no. Pteranodons can't really pick up Ankylo. So that was... Yeah, that's actually quite surprising. <laughs> but I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. I was actually thinking we got to go looking for like a um, an, an, an RG or something. Also, why is there just a random Procoptodon on this mountain? Well, he's about to get gobbled up. But yeah. Ooh, an Apex RG. That could actually be pretty cool. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, I'll leave it for now. Um, but yeah, this is good. This is a this is a pleasant surprise. I fully was expecting that we'd need to go, yeah, get an Argentavis or a Quetzal or something with a bit more carry power um, to carry our Ankylo to somewhere good. But hey, I guess we uh, we don't really need to do that just yet. Anyways, look at that metal. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I did not expect 1600 metal. Wow, 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 wow. Okay then. Um, let's keep doing that. Let's let's do that again, please. Also, is that an apex over there? I'm looking at the... Um, I always forget their names. What are the little spiky stego looking dudes? The ones that are kind of stegos, but not stegos. Also, these other, these other rocks aren't really giving me... As much as I was, as much as the first one did, anyways. Um, hold on, hold on. I can't get to my dude. You though, um, Kentrosaurus. It's just an alpha. Oh no, it is an apex. That thing looks sick. I kind of want to kill it. Can I kill it? Should I? I mean, I, I, I'm sure I can. But do I? No, I don't know if I can kill it with either of these guys. Also, I really got to bring a grapple bow with me. I just have two. I always end up in this this problem where I can't. Um, ooh. I feel like I just need to pick these two here up, right? I always end up in this problem, and I'm about to do it again. Why are you running downwards? Okay, fine. We'll just come down. Um, where I park my flyers a little bit too high, and then I can't get back to them. And then I got to kind of, like, try and climb a mountain, for example. We're going to scale a vertical cliff to get back up. Anyways, I kind of managed to avoid that this time, so that's nice. Also, come here, buddy. There we go. All right. 
Let's head a little bit further up because I'm pretty sure we got more metal up here. We've also got an Argentavis. But other than that, oh, yeah, yeah, we got metal. But I want like full. Yeah, this is the stuff. Yeah, now we're talking. All right. This is, uh, this is going to be fantastic. And I guess what we could probably start doing is paying attention to an industrial forge. We've got so much metal now. Um, either, well, yeah, basically it's, it's, oh my gosh, 1600 from that. I kind of just want, I want like, I don't know. I feel like we should try and get tens of thousands of metal just, just cooking. And maybe we just need a ton of forges as well, just to get, get a head start. Maybe what I got to do is just find out what we need for an industrial forge. And then we can smelt the stuff up, you know, ridiculously quicker than we're currently doing. Or maybe I should just finish my base and then we can work out exactly where everything in our base is going to end up. Regardless, how much metal have we got so far from my dude? <laughs> well, I did say tens of thousands. We're off to a pretty rocking start right here. 15,000. It's pretty good. It's not tens of thousands, but it's 15,000, which is pretty crazy. I'm going to keep pumping levels into melee damage because I'm pretty sure resources scale with that. Also... Can you harvest crystal for me? Because that is something that eventually we'll probably need to go collect in some more of. Yeah, you can. Although it wasn't a crazy amount of it. But better than nothing. Um, in fact, I could take you... Ooh. Hello. That's a nice looking Argentavis right there. Hey, look at him. That's a beautiful... That's a fabled Argentavis. I was going to say, why does that thing look so majestic? Um, I kind of want to tame it. Not going to lie. Uh, you guys know I love my fabled dinosaurs. Ex Hold on a second. That's a female. Oh. Now, look, I don't need another Dodecurus. But I do need a female fabled dinosaur. And that is one. That is indeed one. All right. I think we're going to go on another fabled taming spree here today, guys. I, I don't think I can help it. I think we need to. As I don't yeah. Hold on. Okay. Well, I found... Oh, actually, hold on. Let me work out exactly how much... How much kibble we need because we need to return to home um to get the kibble that we need to get these two guys here so this one's going to require five it's a level 290 fabled rg by the way um and then you got this guy here who requires eight so 13 kibble all up i've got two on me currently if i can get all 13 of these we can tame up both fabled not only that though we're going to uh finally have ourselves a nice supply of fabled eggs coming in so that's going to be really, really important moving forward. We need it. It's something, although we've got like four fabled dinosaurs already, we don't have a single female. We don't have a single good egg layer. In fact, we don't have an egg layer at all. It's not even about being a good egg layer. We've got no egg layer. And then we've also got, we'll, like, we'll basically have ourselves a mate boosted pair of the two. Um, let's just find out if we can actually get the kibble. Also, I keep forgetting my dude over here be dropping like awesome poop. I should probably... <laughs> I've never heard someone describe describe something as awesome poop. Oh, so I got... F okay, hold on. We're good. I got six already. That's that's enough for the RG. How many? I need seven more. I think we got it too. Oh my gosh, we got it. We can do both. Oh, we can do both. We can do both. We can do both. We can do both. Um, okay, this is good. This is really, really good. Which one do we want to get first is the question. Uh... <laughs> So that's enough for the Dodie, and then the extra five will be for the RG. Yeah, who do we target first? We got nets, so we can net both of them. I think we're going to have to do a bit of a clear out and, like, clean out some of the, the dinosaurs that are going to be in the way. Uh, it's also going to come down to how much torpor I can deal. I'm going to have to find out how strong these here are. We might need some more bullets, and if that is the case, maybe I should actually get to work on Getty. Hey, hold on a second. Can I craft? No. Hold on a second. Do I need a... I might actually... Uh, rifle? I need... Wait. I need these. Primal rifles. I need sniper bullets. Oh, no. Sniper bullets. Advanced sniper bullets. They crafted in a fabricator. I don't have a fabricator yet. <laughs> Why do I not have a fabricator yet? Um, I can aff surely afford one. Right? Let me find out. I, ooh, maybe it's going to be close. Yes. Okay. All right. All right, Fabricator. And I got gasoline on me already too. All right. Well, let's go and place our first crafting structure down, I suppose. I don't know if this is going to be its forever home, but whatever. I also don't know if these staircases are going to be permanent here or not. So just ignore those for the time being. But for now, um, look, you can come over here because it just looks like a reasonable place to put a fabricator um here's some gasoline and i need sniper bullets 
I don't know how many, but if I can... No, I don't need that many. If I can get like 30. Oh, I need more gunpowder. Oh, no. What did I do with all my gunpowder? Wait, do I not have any gunpowder? Wait, what did I do with it all? I thought I crafted up a bunch of gunpowder. Hold on, what? Maybe it's just not pulling it across? Alright, we'll just have to craft up some more then, I suppose. Get that one going. We'll get that one going. That'll give us a nice um, all amount. Um, we got the extra kibble. And you know what? Let's just go and see what these bullets can do already for us. Um, some tame helpers as well. And that'll be that. Then we just got to tame them up and get them home. And that will that's as simple as it gets, really. So we'll grab two of these. Let's do this thing. Fabric hey, Unicorn, you are my little tame helper, buddy. You're my living, breathing, flying, prancing tame helper. Um, yeah, you're, you're, you're where it all begins. So, where are we going to begin? Oh, baby. Now, that is just a view that nobody ever needs to see. The inside of my head. Um, I just had to dip away for a second. I heard, <laughs> I heard Giselle screaming from the other room. Uh, turns out she just wanted to play with something that she couldn't. And mom t uh, and Len told her no, and she didn't approve of that answer. But she's all good now. Anyways, Dodie Curious, where are you, buddy? I'm going to start out with the Dodie. Um, also, I might even steal its egg. Also, there is so much metal up here that this would have been the place to go looking. Uh, but it's all good. We can come back with our ink cloak anyways. So, harpoon gun. I'm just going to drop this thing just for simplicity's sake. That way I can stop him in his tracks and then he can't get away from me. This thing has a ton of torpor. Also, I'm kind of tempted to kill these RGs just to make sure that they don't. Yep, I'm going to do that. <laughs> I'm going to kill these RGs just to make sure that they don't get in my way. Or at least I'm going to try to. I actually don't know. Yep, cool. That's good. I wasn't sure how strong my unicorn is. So that one there was always going to be a... Oh, a right click is ridiculous. Also, this guy here is an apex. He's actually kind of strong. Wow. Hold on a second. Oh, damn. I nearly knocked it out. Wait, what? Um, okay. That attack is ridiculously strong. Stronger than... Like, I, 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 I mean, I, like I knew it was a... Okay, that's actually really good. Uh, from a from a knockout perspective, sixty thousand torpor, and I barely even hit it. That's pretty good. All right, let me just finish this guy off because you just know he's gonna fly away, and then he's gonna come back over and he's gonna give me a rough time. So we just want to make sure that doesn't happen. All right, so let's do this thing. I'm wondering if what I gotta do. Oh, please don't. Oh, I thought he was gonna like walk off a cliff. There's no cliff though. Um, I'm actually kind of tempted to just grab my horse. And right click it. <laughs> Do some torpor like that. I just gotta make sure I don't kill it, is the only thing. But also, how's it how's it kind of tracking? Dude! I guess we didn't need the I didn't need the dance! Like what? Wait, what? Oh my gosh, your right click torpor attack is so much better than our um our Malin horse not too long ago. Rest in peace to him. I still haven't dug a grave for him. I'm still in denial that he ever died. But um wow, that's crazy strong. <laughs> I don't know why I bothered with all that ammunition that we just crafted up, but cool. All right, cool, 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 cool. Back to business. Turns out I already had tame helpers on me, so we'll just drop those in there. Um five, six, seven, and eight. And that should be that. I think that's everything that this girl needs. I'm going to go and steal her little egg to give me a little bit of a head start in the fabled egg production department. And I think that's... Oh, hold on a second, guys. I'm hearing music. I heard... Whoa! Stop, stop, stop there, little friend. Stop there. I don't want you running off the mountain and getting yourself into trouble. I also didn't really think about how I'm going to get you home. So you're just going to live up here for the time being. I... Yeah, I forgot I don't have much around it on, on me. Did you guys hear the music though for a second? It was it was like the origin slash primal dinosaur flat music. And I don't know what happened to it, but it's gone now. Um which is a good thing. It means I'm not in danger. But it did have me kind of a little scared there for a second. There it is again. It's primal. It's this guy. It's this one right here. Twenty seven point seven million health. Yeah, you're fun there, okay? No one's ever gonna come anywhere near you. I'm sure one day we will, but we're nowhere near ready to. Anyways, I have an RG to deal with. They've got a date with an RG over here somewhere, and I can't quite see it. Where did it go? For real, though. Where did it go? I saw it not that long ago. There it is. 
<laughs> he's hiding in the trees. Of course he is. Man, I love it. But these are my favorite types of ARC videos. Uh, I often get asked, like, how do you play the game every single day? Like, don't you get bored of it? And you know what? I feel like this right here, this is why, this is what makes ARC so much fun to play, especially to make videos on. So uh, you may be able to tell, I kind of try to achieve a task in every video, whether it's I set out to tame something or set out to do something. Well, like today, for example, we, we, we tracked out, I wanted to collect some metal. So we went looking for some metal. We end up finding not one, but two dinosaurs. Didn't even know existed out here. One of them, I didn't even know fabled Argies were a thing, but we found two dinosaurs we just so happened to need. And now we're gonna go and tame them. I didn't plan on that. Didn't know that that's what we're gonna be doing today, but the, the kind of just, it just wrote itself. This is a sense of exploration and unknown. And I think that's why I enjoy it so much. These are my favorite types of episodes. The ones that you just head out to do one thing and you end up doing something completely different, but it's still just as awesome. Yeah, I don't know. That's, that's my like little, that's my little thing with Ark. I think that's why I have so much fun with it. In a way it, oh, I shouldn't be doing this up here with the Primal Kentro. Um, but it reminds me of like early days of Minecraft where you just didn't know what existed. These days, everybody knows what's in Minecraft. Everybody knows every structure. The game is just that well studied. But back in the day, you just never knew what was going to be. I have no idea if that, land, that didn't land on nothing. You just never knew what was going to be like around the corner. And I think that was like what kind of caused the success of the game. Anyways, why are we talking about things that just don't matter right this second? Um, hold on. I'm trying to get back onto my horse so I can go and buck this thing a few times. It's got to make sure we don't kill it. I can't remember how much health it had. All right. How's that looking? Not bad. I can only hit it like a few more times. There we go. That's all we needed. Good. Good, 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 good. Okay. So I'm just hoping that the primal dude blasting his noise doesn't come over here and say hello to us. So we'll just drop those in there. <gasps> I'm one kibble short. Wait, how am I a kibble short? Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. You needed five kibble. I've only got four. Wait, just a second. Who's got my final kibble? Did I give you an extra one? I don't think I did. Oh, snap. Okay. Quick trip back home. Wait, did I do the math wrong? Eight. Eight plus five. It's 13. Did I not end up with 13? What did I do wrong? I might have given one extra kibble to the dody. Maybe he ate it already and I missed it. Oh, that's... Or maybe it's still over here crafting. Hold on. Hold on. We're lucky we live close to base and we can just... Okay, yeah, I don't have it. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm legit missing a kibble. If I can't craft this, I'm gonna cry. Oh, good. Good. I actually would have cried. What? I'm just trying to think what we might be short on. Prime meat jerky. I don't know how much of that we got, but there's probably not a lot of it left in here. Seven. Okay, now we got plenty. <laughs> we didn't just scrape through. All right, we had we had we had options. Okay, that's that's good to see. That's good to see. Now I'm gonna return on my Tyranodon this time. That way I can actually pick up the Dodecurus. At least I assume we can pick up the Dodecurus. Uh, we'll cross that bridge if we can't. Maybe I'll have to ride him home. Uh, but for now, I just need to focus on Sergeant Tavis. The other option. Wait a second. I thought he just did that poop, but that would have been my that would have been my Equus. Hey. All right, there you go. There's all five kibble. Yeah, that'll get the job done. That's two. That's three. And dude, two level 290s today. That is so good. <laughs> All right, sweet, sweet, sweet. All right, follow me home, buddy. Let's go. As long as I can pick you up. Yes, we can. Oh, the fabled squad returning back to base. We'll say just laid an egg, but we're just going to ignore that one there. Oh, what a waste of a fabled egg. But it's all good. Now we've got unlimited amounts of them. And not only that, we're going to have a mate boosted pair of these guys, which means they're going to lay even more eggs. And we can breed them if we want to get like a super fabled egg farm going. But I don't think we'll need to do that. What we might need to do is we need, might need to do that with ele uh, yeah, elemental dinosaurs. But no, nah, not with Dodecuruses. Not with fableds. These guys will just passively lay enough eggs for us, I think. Um, hopefully... And if not, hey, like I said, we'll, we'll, we'll find some other ways to do things. But yeah, now we're talking. My base is definitely looking predominantly purple right now, isn't it? Or at least this color scheme, this purple aquatic color, which just so happens to be the color scheme in my office. I don't really have many colors in my office, but it's the lights that come out of my PC. This very vaporware Miami hotline type of look about them. The very retro Miami. I love it. I love the color scheme. Um, yeah. 
All right, let me get these two guys here like side by side for a start. Oh, so I should have been smelting metal this whole time. Why am I not smelting metal this whole time? That was a bit of a bit of a mistake. I'll say these dirties aren't really cooperating a whole lot. <laughs> Come here, you two. Really? How's your big old butt going to be stuck right there, huh? All right, you know what? Just stay there. I'll move you guys another time. It's all good. Um, like I said earlier, though, we were meant to check out what we need for this industrial forge. Let's have a look and see what we actually need. See how close we are to being able to get this. We should be good for cement and paste. We should be good for crystal. We should be good for maybe polymer is, might be the issue. I reckon polymer, metal, and oil. Me oh, we got the polymer. Oil and metal ingots. 500 of them. All right. Well, you better be best believe I'm just going to be smelting it all up in here because why not? We got 15,000 or thereabouts. So, may as well just light it up. I got to wait for 500 of that. And then the other one was oil, right? So, I got to go and kill some... Ooh, we can take our algae out for this. All right, let me see if I got some fabled hide and we can get a saddle. This guy's going to be a beast from the skies, I reckon. Um... Need one of these. No! Okay. I had a feeling. I had a feeling. Fiber, keratin, and hide. No. Fabled hide. Yeah. Dang it. Okay, that's that's a shame. That is a big old shame. Um, I'm trying to think who my best hitter from the sky is. Because one... Well, I need to go and kill some fabled dinosaurs instead of taming them. I keep taming them all up and then there's nothing left for me to kill and actually harvest. So we got to start killing them. We got to resist temptation and we're going to kill the fables from now on. Speaking of fables, I see you. I see you. That's a female pteranodon too. Um, look, I don't have the kibble for you, but I kind of need that hide off you, mate. Um, yep, right there. How do you feel bad about this? Oh, fabled v fabled action. Um, and unfortunately, why do I keep forgetting to bring a chainsaw with me? Why do I even carry a hatchet on me anymore? Why don't I just carry a... Why, why do I carry this when I've got a chainsaw? I need more hide than that. Um, all right. I'm going to go get my chainsaw because I, I obviously need it. And I'm pretty sure it returns better drops than what anything else does. Yeah, that would be the smart thing to do here, I think. Um, not only that, it would probably be good for collecting chitin as well. Pretty sure it's just a good resource collector. Um, I just don't know what I've done with it. Where is my chainsaw? Where is my chainsaw? There it is. Um, well, look, if, if, it's, if, if, if it's a potential good hatchet replacement, then I, I should bring my horse with me. Then I don't even need to dismount. I can just chainsaw from its back. Oh, well, that's all good. Let's actually see what we can do with this. Let's actually see if this this benefits us in any way. I think I saw some some blue bluish down here. It's a Kano. Not looking for a Kano. Uh, looking for Fables. And we might have we might have just cleared out the entire. Oh, hold on. I take it back. That is a Stego. I see a Stego. A Fabled Stego. Oh, it looks majestic, but it's about to die. Do I change? Yeah, no, I'm not gonna, not gonna risk that. We've died to one of these in the past, so that's not worth the risk. What in the world is happening? Is he? Oh no! Oh, that's not good. I need to get on your back. Oh, hello. Hold on. Ouch. Ouch. Oh no. Oh no. All right, chainsaw time. It's chainsaw time. I have no idea if this thing even damages. Not a lot. Not enough. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. 100%. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Um. 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 Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. I should just let him keep doing his thing. I should just keep it, let you keep doing your thing. All right, go do your thing. Go do your thing. Okay, stop, stop. Don't harvest it. Don't harvest it. Okay. Whoa, that was a close call. I think he dismounted me. <laughs> he knocked me off my pteranodon. You pile of trash. How could you do this? Anyways, I don't blame you. Dude, 12. Okay, yeah, that's the answer. We are, and also, hold on, not to mention, we actually got the, we actually got chitin and keratin out of that. 56 keratin. Oh my gosh. All right, yeah, hatchet's gone. This is the first series ever that I'm replacing a, uh, a hatchet with a chainsaw. I've never done it before. Never done it before, but hey, I guess that's a new, that's a new thing. That's going to be a new thing on this channel probably forever. I have just found the value in the chainsaw. 
I'm like trying to think if I've ever really used a chainsaw before. And honestly, guys, I can't think of a single time where I've I've been this passionate about one. This thing's got, we got 1,200 hide out of one thing just then. Also, look at the loot we managed to pull. There is some crazy goodness right there. All right. Well, I think we might actually have what we need. How do we go for keratin? 185. I can't remember how much we needed though. Oh, and oil. I still need oil. And the whole other thing that we were going to look for was some tech dinosaurs. Um, we're just not finding much of anything out here, to be honest. I mean, to be honest, we found the Fabled stuff. So that's really, really cool. But like a tech parasaur or a tech stego or is there a desert over there? All right. I might need to go and check that out soon. I didn't even, I didn't even know there was a desert. Okay. I was wondering if like this map had a desert. It's all the way down south on the map. So when we need a desert, and I inevitably forget where the desert is, you guys need to point me in the right direction, okay? <laughs> uh, yeah, we're not finding any tech dinosaurs at all. But that's cool. That's cool. Um, our metal's not ready yet, anyway. So maybe tomorrow we'll uh, we'll go we'll go looking for some for some tech dinosaurs, or do we just go harvest some oil somewhere? Maybe we'll just maybe we'll just literally go look for some oil. That's probably the best option, to be honest. We'll get ourselves a tech fabricator, not fabricator. We'll get us not even a tech. We'll get ourselves an, a forge, industrial forge is the word I'm looking for. Wow, got like all the words minced up just then, and. Um, well, yeah, we should be able to get ourselves a solid old supply of metal, permanent metal. And at least then we can like start fitting out this, this main base, the big base, the big boy right here. I feel like that'll be pretty darn awesome. But guys, we're going to call this one right here. If you did enjoy it, please go ahead, punch that thumbs up, make it rain those thumbs up. So if you haven't yet done so, subscribe to the channel. Look at my forehead one more time. And if you haven't yet done so, head to MrMiola.com and check out our brand spanking you. One million subscriber merch thanks to everybody who has purchased some so far um i think it's starting to arrive at people's houses which has been a very very quick delivery which is fantastic but guys until next time keep on smiling have a fantastic day and i'll catch you next time bye